symbols of a Muslim. How Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want to see Muslim believer. <coughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us the qualities and attributes in Holy Quran. How Muslim should look like. How should he behave? What are his responsibilities, obligatories? Before he mentioned about signs of Muslim, he said Alif Lam Meem. Some scholars say these are the Haruf Muqatta'at, letters of Muqatta'at, separate, separate letters. In the time of Holy Prophet kings used to write a letter to each other and they used to write some code words which other people, even the postmen, will not understand. <coughs> So these are the some special words which Arab who they were proud of being <coughs> very much knowledgeable people and they used to say all other communities in the whole world Ajami. They say Arabi is Fasahat Balagat. This is the very great language. We are the people who can speak a very distinguished language. But other people, their languages are not as serious as Arabic. <coughs> Those Arab poets and literature experts, they could not understand what the meaning of Alif Lam mean. Some of us serene, they try to explain, they said Alif means Allah, Lam means Jibreel, Mi means Muhammad. So Allah's message is coming to Holy Prophet وسلم, through Jibreel. So, first letter of sender and the person who is bringing that message, last letter of that like Jibreel, Lam and first letter of the personality who will receive the message like Muhammad, me, Salaam. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Zalik al kitab la fi. This is the book in which there is no doubt. If anybody has doubt, then they should not read this. He or she will not get guidance. If they believe this is the message from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then they will try to follow and then they will get guidance. Kudallil Muttaqeen This is the guidance for the righteous people. First of the sign of righteous people is to believe in Holy Quran as a true book. Then they will get the guidance. <coughs> now Alladheena yu'minuna bil ghaybi The people who believe in unseen, they did not see that the angel is coming, Holy Prophet <coughs> but they believe whatever the Holy Prophet is saying that Jibreel is coming and bring this message, they believe. Some of them, they ask for the miracles. And Holy Prophet ﷺ showed many miracles like other prophets showed. 
which was possible for any magician which was was not possible by any other person so it showed that he is the true prophet and whatever he is saying he is it is true so then they believe in bil ghaib ghaib unseen wa yuqimun as salah and they pray salah this is reminder message that their submission will be to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for everything if they are sitting in the shop they are in the factory they are doing their own business they are in the fields to do agriculture as soon as call for prayer prayer he or she comes and read salah so it reminds them that our other social life domestic life and each and every kind of work should be submission to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then we go to our worldly things then the second call of prayer comes and then we come to prayer so this prayer reminds us that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us and we should submit our all works to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our life shouldn't be like this that when we are in the mosque when we are praying salat we should be following allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but when we are in the shop when we are in the job when we are in the business we should be following shaitan or devil astaghfirullah quran said udkhulu fi silm kafa come to the islam completely not partly in the mosque you muslim in outside we are transgressor we fasik fasik are still muslim they believe allah and prophet and angel and day of judgment but they do not follow allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's commandments so this salat reminds us in the salat tanha an al fahsha wal munkar it should remind us submission to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if it doesn't it might need might not be accepted we are doing tajweed qiraat properly reading quran properly sajda ruku everything properly but it is not making us away from fahsh things bad things fahsha wal munkar so it might not be accepted because the dars and lesson of the salat is to make us away from bad things from cheating from fraud from other things in all worldly things in behavior behavior with our wives with our children with our parents with our neighbor whether they are muslim or not if our behavior is good it means we are getting true lesson of salah ومما رزقناهم ينفقون and whatever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them money and wealth they spend so they think of the society they are not very very limited minded people thinking about only parents wife brother sisters and children they're thinking of the society if somebody is in need they give them yun fi qun they spend money they work hard hardly they earned money but still they are giving them if they are in the need so they are thinking about the society whatever the society needs they help them they support them wal ladina yu'minuna bima unzila ilayka whatever is revealed to holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam they believe wa ma unzila min qablika 
and whatever has been revealed before Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Suhuf Adam, Suhuf Ibrahim, Torah to Musa Alaihi Salam, Injil to Isa Alaihi Salam, Zubur to Dawud Alaihi Salam, any books, any booklets came before Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they believe. If they made changes, they don't believe in that particular verses. But overall, they believe all the books and prophets. And they believe in the day of judgment. So these were the qualities of the Muslims, basic qualities. And then in Mu'minun, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Qad aflaha al-Mu'minun, who have been successful as a believer, there are some qualities as well. But the time has finished, we finish on, on this.